Hey guys, Kigu here. They have a pretty much a uh, topic on external media, hard drives, stuff like that. And, um, you know, just basically on external media, hard drives in general, kind of like your tech topic. But, uh, anyways, um, I wanted to talk about hard drives, and, you know, a lot of people always ask, how can you allocate more space on your hard drive? How can you get more space, free up space? Well, you know, operating system wise, the best way, you know, software wise would be delete your software, delete the bloatware, the crapware, you know, the trial versions that come on your computer via, you know, factory or, you know, that are pre installed on there that you don't use at all, you don't even use the trial. Go ahead and delete it. Go into your editor and remove programs. Uh, you can install cleaners if you want cleaners. There's stuff like a uh, CC cleaner and stuff like that. Vista and XP, if you're using the Windows, you know, they have their own add remove programs. You can turn off Windows features if you're on Linux, you can, you know, uh, or whatever distro you're on, I'm sure you can delete some stuff. OS 10, you have your own, uh, you know, you can delete stuff as well. And, you know, every operating system, pretty much, that's self-explanatory. You can, you can delete every, everything on a second, guys. The stream is echoing, sorry. Uh, you can delete everything on, a, you know, the the um, hard drive and you know that's that's uh, what's most important but then again you could always uh, compress your hard drive or I should say defrag uh, that's basically compressing all your files that are in the hard drive together because when you're uh, you know when you delete stuff you you leave open spaces within the memory and then uh, you have to compress it all together by defragging your hard drive and that makes your hard drive run faster because when it runs you know uh, spins it r rather than it you know if you have everything spread out, it's going to be harder to find stuff, you know. If you have everything compressed into one, it's going to be easier to read, it's going to read faster. So, you know, hard drives, you know, that that's going to increase, you know, speed, and of course along with RAM and all that stuff. But how do you go about, you know, getting more space? Well, like I said, you can delete delete programs, stuff like that, remove all these files, you know, whatever you need to remove. Then again, you can always um, upgrade, in, which was one of the most common ways, and that would be hardware-wise. You can go and get a new hard drive for your computer, like the actual internal hard drive, you know, the one you, you can go in there, screw off the case, or, you know, whatever, however your case opens, pop in a new hard drive, whether it be, you know, 200 gigs, 700 gigs, whatever, a terabyte even. Now, some newer machines, like the Mac Pro and other machines out there, they actually have four hard drive slots, one with the original slot, and three more to add into the slots. So that's really great, great, uh, uh, you know, a feature and add-on. Now, some, you just have one slot and you can replace it when you need to. Now make sure you have all your power off and, you know, back up if you need to, just in case. And, you know, have all the power and everything plugged out. Uh, so you can upgrade, you know, the actual hard drive. You can put more in if you have, like, you know, empty slots, stuff like that. And, um, you know, it all depends on your PC's design or, your you know, your computer's design. Now, you know, Macs even, new Macs, you can easily, you know, get to the hard drive. Like I said, the Mac Pro, stuff like that. Um... And then you have another option that's external hard drives. External hard drives, there's two options within that. And external hard drives are usually used for two uh, two things. You can either, a lot of people use it for backup. Mac OS 10, they use it for Time Machine. There's a new thing called Time Capsule. They use it for backup media, even on Windows. Uh, and I'm sure on Linux too. Or to uh, extend their space, because let's say you have a 500 gigabyte external hard drive, like I picked up a Western Digital My Book. You can add it onto your, not add it onto your hard drive, but make it act as a second drive to, ex you know, store media on. And basically all you have to do is, uh, you know, plug it in, make sure, you don't, instead of installing the backup software, go into my computer, find the drive, right click it, format it to an NTFS, and just do a quick format, and then should just, you know, what it's going to do is going to wipe the drive off, and then you can store any media you want on there, just drag and drop, simple as that, just like your local C disk card drive, but it's all an external media, or my book, you know, there's Western Digital's, my books, there's Seagate's, I would recommend either of those two brands. There's a lot of other brands. They could range in, you know, uh, even 100 gigabytes, even 50, 40 gigabytes, 60 gigabytes, even go up to a terabyte. So there's a huge variety. If you're looking for something small and portable, like if you need something on the go for the business or whatever, they have some in 20 gigabytes, 80 gigabytes, all that stuff. They're a great brand called, uh, there's Western Digital makes one, a series called the Passports, and they're really, really small, the WD Passports. So look into that. Now, the other option with your external hard drives is you can make your own. Now, let's say you don't have another slot in your computer and you don't want to upgrade the one inside's already up, you know, like a terabyte or whatever. 
you want to add another terabyte or you know 500 gigs you can get a what they call a hard drive enclosure that's just basically like a case for a hard drive unscrew it and put a hard drive in there like you know the actual hard drive and close it in the case that's why they call it a hard drive enclosure so add those two things together you get an external hard drive your own built you know home built one and you know you can order uh, cases off newegg.com tiger direct tiger direct has some cool staff ones um, just all that stuff and you know hard drives you can get in a variety of places it all depends on where you want to buy it from locally or online it's up to you and then you know you can store media on it right after that now you have three ways of connection of course there's or, I'm not sure there's, it's pretty sure it's three there's fire, USB which is a common one for most normal users firewire if you want faster transfer rates for the fastest transfer rates that would be eSATA you know they're all different ports but you know a lot more people are going firewire I use USB to USB some have all three options some have one some have two you know it depends and that's a great thing. You can make your own external hard drive. You can buy one. You can, you know, upgrade your uh, the uh, actual hard drive. You know, the internal one. Uh, so you have, you know, a lot of options. And there's also other things that there, you know, there's online storage. You can look into online storage. Some things you have to pay for online storage. So you have to look into that. Uh, there's even this thing which they call Drobo. D R O B O. You can find that at Drobo.com. It's basically a cube about, you know, pretty big. Uh, and has four hard drive slots in the back. And basically, it's a robotic calculator type of external hard drive. You plug it into your computer. I think it's USB to USB. I'm not sure, or, I'm not sure but it's fast transfer rates. And you have four slots in the back, and you can easily pop a hard drive in there, and it reads right off the bat. And you know, it, do, it has its own built-in calculator, so it knows how much, uh, you know, how how big the hard drive is. You can range anywhere from you know 750 gigabytes. You can put terabytes in each one to have maximum four terabytes. In this, you know, a little robotic calculator thing, and it'll transfer it all into your, uh, make it a drive in your uh, computer, so you have a whole, like, you know, if you want to max it out, a whole four terabytes extra of space on your computer. So Drobo is a really cool thing. Check it out, Drobo.com. So like I said, guys, you have a lot of options. You know, I, I would recommend visiting sites like Newegg, Tiger Direct, Amazon, eBay, all those sites. Uh, you can go check out your local stores, see what they have, Best Buy, uh, all those other stores. Uh, you know, upgrade, external, Drobo is a great option as well if you're, you know, looking to that. I believe it's like four ninety nine for around standard edition, but then again, there's other hard drives that actually cost more. So really just look into the hard drive you're interested in. Uh, external hard drives are becoming a huge thing nowadays because people need more space. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Even online, who knows, online uh, uh, storage may become, you know, bigger in the future as well. So something to look forward to. Anyways, guys, that's my uh, topic today on technology of external media, uh, internal media, hard drive media, I should talk about. Anyways, guys, hard drive storage. And, you know, like I said, that would be the best way, guys, to get, you know, more space allocated. Now, if you want your original thing to go faster, defrag your hard drive, guys. Help a lot. Uh, defrag it maybe even once a month, twice a month if you need to. Depends on how much, you know, file space you have in there. Delete all that bloatware, crap, or stuff you don't use. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Comment, rate, subscribe to the channel. Visit our blog at www.keepcrew-techworld.blogspot.com. Why not check out our site also at www.tech-world, or you don't even have to use a hyphen, I believe, .co.nr. And lastly, our Ustream, are streaming 24-7, unless there's internet problems, Ustream problems that happened recently also, like if I get disconnected. Uh, but usually we're on 24-7 whether I'm here or not. You may see a fill in, who knows, at www.ustream.tv forward slash kidguru and then just click on the show de showroom and details and you'll see the chan actual channel page. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.